Hey boys, welcome back to the Women's World Cup, Rugby League World Cup, and uh, we're taking on England in uh, this second second game here after a pretty uh, yeah fairly fairly dominant win against the Cook Islands. I mean, it should have happened. It happened in real life, and it uh, you know it should have been a given. But um, you know they they defended stoutly. We probably should have put a few more points on, but uh, we looked we looked pretty impressive. This game actually put Nakia. Uh, Davis Walsh back to uh back to fullback. Obviously, if the first game I had Sam Bremner there, the uh the star um, player who was missing in the well, she's been out for a while now. I don't know exactly what her injury was, but um she yeah definitely one of their one of their more, more high profile players missing the World Cup. But uh, I decided to put uh, Davis Walsh back to fullback. She was actually really good as well. Um, you know probably not as as good as Bremner, but uh, pretty quality is uh, Hancock here. The uh, the old, uh, the old. <laughs> I'm trying to find the right word for it, but uh, the experienced player, I guess. I think she was was Hancock the one, or was it Ballinger? I think it might have been Ballinger who was like 30, 30 odd. And I know there's uh, one of the uh, the England England girls here, the lock. Um, she was like 30, 38. 37, 38, like really, really experienced. She's actually one of their more solid players as well. But um, yeah, the I've, I talked about in the first episode that uh, it was definitely a two horse race. Um, England as a uh, Tafua here, Tafua. No, it's not Tafua. It's Tafua. Um, is just gonna make a clean break <laughs> and just blitz them. Probably, yeah, probably a bit quick than what she is in real life, I guess. I think a few of the stats for some of the Aussie players. I know Rowan Sims a little bit too quick in the game. You know, she's a she's one of their better forwards, but uh, in the game here, she's a bit too quick. But uh, tough out there, um, just blitz them. And uh, she is a she's a good player as well. Like she's um, yeah, she obviously a lock and uh, just a like a solid, solid player, like, definitely not that quick, but, um, comparing it to, like, a, a male player, sort of like that Papali type style, you know, pretty decent footwork, just a, just solid, you know, just a solid, solid girl, <laughs> it seems weird talking about it like that, but, um, you know, some meant to be offensive, like, big girls, they're just, they're big, strong girls, um, even though, like, the funny thing is, like, a lot of the, uh, I guess a lot of the uh, Australian women's girls, or I, I guess the majority of the girls, honestly, like, there weren't many, like, they're all, like, fit. Like, they're obviously very athletic. That's what I, I said in the uh, first episode is uh, Kelly gets a beautiful offload there to uh, the winger on this side. And, uh, yeah, I, I talked about Kelly a little bit. Bizarre. She was probably <laughs> my, fa my favorite player in the uh, Aussie team. She was just um so good, dude. So good there. Their center, they, they got, you know, quality team across the board. I mean, it, you know, granted, don't, uh, like I said, I don't obviously watch the women, you know, you can't really watch the women's games too much. It's good play here onto Baker on the wing, but can't quite get the try last tackle looking to uh, to run the ball there. But um, obviously don't see the, them play um, other than like the World Cup and stuff. But it was very good quality. I, I said this in the first episode, I'm probably reiterating on a lot of things, but, um, yeah, that, it was such good quality, especially, well, obviously, especially New Zealand and Australia, they were the standouts, and, but, you know, the other teams, they, you know, they had some good moments, and they were just, they, you know, they just didn't have the depth, obviously, because Australia, it, the sport is growing pretty decently for women's here, as uh, we're going to get another repeat set here, a couple of fortuitous plays gets us a uh, a little bonus here. So five minutes before the break, and a good chance to uh, get another four pointer or six pointer, hopefully. But uh, yeah, you know, pretty pretty strong defensively at the moment. England. That's a good little bit of play. Baker on the wing. I thought, just put the foot down, almost uh, trying the corner there. But uh, good scramble. As unfortunately, we're kind of just uh, a silly uh, silly pass. Sort of actually not really pass. Sort of I think it was tough out there. Sort of just got in the way of the uh, the play at the back and coughed the ball over. So it looks like we're going to go into halftime with a uh, a four nil lead. Uh, England haven't really had too much, too many opportunities. We've definitely had the uh, the running in you know, the first half, but couldn't quite 
convert it into uh, into pointers. Rowan Sims off the bench. This is what I was talking about, dude. She, you know, she's one of the one of the powerhouses in uh, in the Australian lineups. We, we passed the ball to McGregor. I obviously she was going to get to the liner. I, I saw. I thought for a second that uh, the fullback was going to catch up to us, so I, I passed it off to the speedster in McGregor. But we could have gone all the way, but passed it off unselfishly. We convert there with Caitlin Moran. I haven't, you know, haven't seen too much of Moran in this uh, first two games here, but she was, I, I, I personally, I don't know, I, I'd probably say Moran was the uh, the standout, or one of the standouts for uh, for Australia's, again, McGregor. Beautiful offload to uh, to Brown on the wing. But she was probably, I reckon she was Australia's best, uh, best player through the whole tournament. She was just, she was so good at footwork and the thing that impressed me the most about Moran was like she definitely one of the smallest girls like pretty you know not not that tall and also like very very lean but she she got her body in the way dude like she she got out of the line and and stood in front of these uh these big big strong girls and she, she brought them down I didn't she obviously met, missed a few tackles but honestly like her defense that was probably the biggest standout for me like her attack is obviously very good very quick very good on her feet, pretty good kicking game, but uh, her defense, like, it was just so tough, and that's the thing that impressed me the most, just the uh, the physicality and the uh, the toughness in the defense from, uh, especially Australia and New Zealand, but uh, beautiful play here, the uh, the outside-inside pass, and uh, it's going to be O'Mealy, you'd usually want, like, a fullback on the inside there, but uh, O'Mealy, the, uh, again, like, O'Mealy was very good coming off the bench, provided a lot of impact in the games I saw, and, you know, not the, not the biggest girl either, but, um, got in there and put some good shots on, honestly, <laughs> put some pretty good, uh, pretty good hits on as, uh, Ruan Sims, again, just terrorizing the England side, we do have a really good bench, I feel like, <laughs> I don't, <laughs> I don't know why this always happens, dude, I always, I always celebrate too late, and then, I always get screwed over because I can never stop the animation. As uh, we saw, there was a a female ref. I I don't think I'm pretty sure the refs in the the World Cup were male, weren't they? I don't think the the refs were female. Maybe I'm remembering incorrectly, but you know it doesn't really matter either way. As Maria tries to take on the line, um, but yeah, Benja like super strong in the game here because I I tried. I'm pretty much uh, well. I think I. I I got like the exact Australian lineup. Um, I think anyway, there might be a couple of uh, of different ones as uh, the other powerhouse from the bench, Walton there, just strolls over for a very easy try. She got a fair few tries in the tournament. But uh, yeah, our bench is like very good. I, I don't know what like the player ratings are. I didn't like go through and look um, at all the, uh, the player ratings, but I think our forward bench is like very, very strong compared to like our starting forward, I mean, our starting forwards are good as well, but the bench is, like, very, very strong, as, unfortunately, we are going to concede a late, or extremely late try on the siren, you know, good determination from, uh, from the England player there, Cherm, um, was it Cherm? I don't even know, she, uh, she's lining the kick up, but, uh, yeah, you, good try, good try finishing it off, but, uh, a solid win, 22 to 6, and, uh, we're, we're looking pretty strong, Hopefully, we do take on New Zealand in, like, the final. It would be nice. But uh, hopefully, you guys are enjoying this series. Make sure to like, and I'll see you in the next one.